Hey everybody, this is the game logic flowchart for our Chicken Little game. Um, I'm going to walk you through the different pieces of it so that you understand because there's a lot going on here. Um, the game starts up here at this bubble and the first step in your application will be to prepare the game for the uh, for the beginning. You know, choose a starting player and uh, prepare all the buttons and everything like that. <clears throat> Once you've done that, you are basically waiting for the first player to do something. Um, and that's what this bubble here represents. It's got one flat side and one curved side. That's what the, the standard delay or wait for something to happen uh, flowchart symbol is. The player is either going to um, try to roll the two dice or is going to try to pass the turn to the other player. Let's do the pass the turn part first because it's a little bit simpler. If they uh, try to pass the turn, we have to check and see if their turn score is zero. If they have not scored any points, that is they haven't tried to roll yet, then it, so if the turn score is zero, we need to back up and wait for them again. They're not allowed to pass the turn without trying to score points. But if their turn score is non-zero, that is they say pass when they have one or two or three points and so on, that the answer to that question is no, then uh, we add their turn score to their current total, to their sorry, to their overall total, and then we check. If this was the last turn of the game, that is the other player was uh, already got to 20 points, then if that's true then we go to the end game condition. If that's not true, if this is not the last turn, then we move over to here, this other decision making spot. If the score is, uh, if that player's score is 20 or more, then we need to set that last turn uh, variable is going to be to true so that the next turn will become the uh, the last one of the game. Uh, if, it, if they haven't scored 20 points yet, then we don't worry about the last turn and we move up here we change to the other uh, player, we change the value of current player to be the other player, and then we come back here and wait for the current, the new current player to uh, make their play. Okay, so that's the pass idea. We check to see if they're allowed to pass, and then if they do pass, we add their score, check to see if we're near or at the end of the game, and then we wait for the other player. If the current player chooses to roll, so they roll two dice, and we have to check them both. If either one of them is a one, then we're going to follow this path here, the yes path. If neither one is a one, then we follow the no path. Let's follow this no path and we get here to this process. Increase the, their turn score by one. So if they had five points uh, so far in their current turn, then when they roll and don't get another one, then they get an extra point. We're up to six and we go up here and wait for them again to either pass or roll. If there was a one in their uh, in the two dice that they rolled, we follow this path and hmm, there's not much else to do. We're going to check and see if we're at the uh, last turn or not to try to end the game, because there's nothing to do with the player's overall score. Because they got a one, they don't get to score any points. We check to see if it was the last turn of the game. If it is, we are at the end game condition. If it was not the last turn of the game, this is not going to uh, mean anything because that player can't possibly have scored uh, 20 points because they didn't get anything this time, so it's definitely going to follow the no path after that. But logically, we can leave that in there as a process, um, uh, as a decision rather, for uh, while we're following this path. It makes the programming simpler and it doesn't take long. And we go up and change to the uh, other player and we wait again. So that's basically how the how the application is going to work. Let me just go through the the different bubble types again. This is a start. This down here, the end game, that's a termination. These here are, are uh, stored values or data values. Um, we're storing the uh, whether or not this is going to be a boolean, whether or not we're on the last turn. Up here we're storing sort of which player is the current player. And I didn't mark it down, but in here we're, we're uh, keeping track of scores and so on increasing turn scores. I didn't make a, um, a parallelogram for you for that. These diamond shaped ones here, 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 and here, those are decision making points. You've got to decide which path to follow from each of those. This is a process. This is a process. Things that you're doing. Okay, so hopefully that helps to clear up um, the flowchart and I'll have a separate video uh, with actual dice showing how to play the game. Thanks.